Well, hello, prospectors. It's George with Big Texas Prospecting. Finally on the road again. Uh, 2023. Uh, it's going to be a good year. I know it. I feel it uh, for all of us. Uh, so I'm getting ready to go out on my first uh, trip of the year back to uh, Sierra, New Mexico. GPAA claim. I don't know, I, my heart's there and I, I really enjoy going back over there. Although GPAA has tons of uh, claims all over, I'm just, I'm stuck on, on New Mexico right now. Oh, um, yeah, I had a, I had a slow start this morning and uh, had to get a lot of stuff done. I really wanted to be on the road early, but uh, that didn't happen. So, uh, better late than ever and then this guy this guy that guy right there decides to run off that little he's the only thing that's not big in Texas <laughs> he decides to uh, he decides to run off what was he upside down let's see there he is Anyway, um, so I'll see y'all when I get there. I'll click back on and uh, get ready to get some prospecting done out there. All right, guys. Thank you. Peace. Prospectors, this is George from Big Texas Prospecting. Back here at the uh, New Mexico, back at the spot that I was in uh, about five months, four months ago. Looks like uh, done some some digging, some good digging around here. It's not the same. going to be my spot for today right in this area right here I think what I'm going to do is uh, let's see yeah people been working 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 it here so I think I'm going to move my truck around somebody's uh, tailing spot probably some gold in there um, yeah I'm gonna move my truck right about here and uh, I know sorry there's a lot of wind out here um, when I edit it I'll probably uh, I don't know maybe take my voice out put notes and uh, play some music I don't know uh, but yeah, this looks like uh, it's gonna be my spot, guys. Let's see what's the safest, safest way.
way without <laughs> wiping out. Uh, let's see. working there and that collapsed because that was a lot deeper that this right here went in it went in it, it was deeper so a good part a good part there uh came down collapsed filled in that hole which is okay i mean it don't bother me you know it's i just I'm happy to come out here and find some shiny, find some gold, you know. Um, so I'll probably, I don't know. I think I'm just going to sample for right now. It's my first day here. I got a late start yesterday. And I should have started this morning. What time is it? It's, uh, it's already going to be 1 and I'm just barely starting because I had to go look at some other property over in Domingo. Mexico, uh, which is only about an hour drive from here, but yeah, this is where I think I'm gonna do some. Yeah, it looks... whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't look too bad. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, yeah, go in here around this. But actually, this is the boulder. That I was, uh, <laughs> last time I was here, this is the boulder that I wanted to pull out. I know I told, uh, I am Zaxxon that uh, I wanted to pull this out with my truck, but, uh, it wasn't, it actually wasn't dug up this much. And like I said, somebody just went to town on it, which is good. I hope they found some, some nuggets. <laughs> uh, yeah so i'm in here you as you can see i'm in here and uh it's about three feet three feet maybe four somewhere around there so i'm gonna work around this bad boy right here this is my station for today tomorrow and friday because uh, I know for a fact that, uh, yeah, I was uh, vacuuming around this area. And I started finding uh, some pretty decent flakes. No nuggets. Uh, one picker. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stay with this area. Um, I was going to look for another spot but since you know my move uh, i remember i have zaxon a couple months back he told me why are you gonna move when you're finding gold <clears throat> and i said you know what you're right man i really appreciate i am zaxon he uh he observes and he learns and he he, he knows more than he thinks he does about prospecting and I really appreciate the guy. Um, he's right. Why move? Why? I mean, I can I can go out down down over. The, uh, let me grab my water. I'm gonna take y'all for a little quick. Uh, to everybody I'm gonna get you hold on okay so I mean I guess if I really wanted to I could uh I could come down further down into the wash over here where, uh, where it's still dried up and somebody started working a little hole right here too who knows maybe they started finding there's a, there's a good decent uh tellings pile right there 
Woo. Okay, I'm out of shape, guys. Uh, so, like I said, I mean, I could go down there in the wash. Uh, the Arroyo. And, uh, but I, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I haven't been too successful. And for some odd reason, there's not that much black sand down there. I haven't tried further on down that way. But, like I said, I'm going to stick to where I've been all this time, this whole time. All right, so I'm going to move my truck. And I'm going to start uh, having some fun because that's what it's all about, right, guys? It's about having fun. Okay guys, I'm gonna uh, go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut it down for now. Set up right over there and uh, get Chewy down so he can do his business. Okay guys, I'll have y'all back up uh, here in a little bit after I set up. So I had to share this with you guys. This, look at him. Over his food, he chooses a burrito. You burrito eating Tasmanian Chewy. Yeah, he was crying. He wanted burrito, a brisket burrito. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I guess his food's gonna sit here for the coyotes to come and get it, boy. Coyote's gonna come and get your food. Yeah, so I, I did park everything. I moved everything, guys, and uh, I'm a little bit more comfortable here. Uh, not fully set up, but I thought I'd share with you Chewy's little lunch. It's about 120. I'm not done setting it. For me now, this is going to be the spot for the next couple of days. Uh, I do want to do a shout out to my uh, to my cousin Anthony Smith for uh, he donated some funds for this trip because yeah, things are getting gas is getting more expensive and stuff. And uh, he said he wanted to bless me, and he did. And I appreciate it. Thank you, Anthony. I love you. Thank you. And I did tell him I was going to do a little shout out for him. Um, let's see. But, you know, I can only move so fast because my hand is, believe it or not, still banged up. You can see the scars right there still. And uh, I can't really make a fist yet. But anyway, I got my left hand. So, um gonna finish setting up i'm not in any hurry i'm not gonna go fast there's no need to not for this hobby this is a hobby where you just take your time you have a good time you don't think about work you don't think about bills you don't think about the world and what's going on you just focused here you know with nature and dig for gold and have a good time i mean that's to me that's gold in itself, you know, just like the other guys always mention it. You see Vendetta, Mike Vendetta with his boys, man, that is golden, guys. I love to see that, you know, that is, that's uh, priceless, you know. Uh, and uh, Doug Odette, you know, Doug Odette, he shares all his, his adventures and, and his wife, you know, and uh, I call her Aunt Sandy. You know, they share their adventures, you know, with us. And that's what makes uh, our, our community so so special because we have a, a bond. Yes, it's gold, but it's also sharing and get, getting to know each other. And that's, to me, that's a, that's a big thing. You know, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of shout outs here uh, because there's just so many, there's so many people that I have to thank 
uh, that are awesome that encourage me. Jeff Williams uh, <laughs> at askjeffwilliams.com. The uh, let's go guy. The let's go guy. Uh, he, I him, and I told him that the other day. And uh, he, uh, this guy, he has so much knowledge. I mean, him and there's so many others. Prospector Jess and and uh, so so many others that I've that we all watch and we all they all share with us their their knowledge their experience and uh, it means a lot uh, you know so um, there's gonna be a lot of people a lot of in the community a lot of people that I that I mentioned you know in my video um but i'm gonna finish setting up here guys it looks like chewy's pretty much settled in i don't see any coyotes out here yet later this evening but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh get to work i might just set up set up my uh camera here uh on the tripod and let y'all oh y'all probably wonder about water out here i save these containers and you know throughout the months and you have to have plenty of water if you don't <laughs> you just came out here for nothing well just to pick up dirt yes i'm picking up dirt for my uh later bags that i, that I sell but uh i also i'm gonna run the sluice uh, i got my equipment back there i also i also put water in my buckets if you can see that uh and that that helps of course i'm gonna empty them out but there's water in some of these buckets i don't know if you can see it. there's water in there some of those buckets and more empty, uh, water containers that i filled up but uh yeah so i know last year i didn't share much of the process uh but I'm still learning, guys. I mean, <laughs> there's still a lot that I'm learning. And thanks to our, our goat, their kings out there, you know, um, the big dogs, uh, we get to learn from them. And then in return, we, uh, we share with the newcomers. So that's what it's all about. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get back to work here and then... Uh, I'll probably put up. Yeah. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. So it's not the most beautiful setup in the world, but it's a sluice. It works. I put it together. Same one I've been using on all my other shows. I got the mint uh, green mat in here though. And I got some miner's moss here. And then this just a backup. So later I might uh, invest in a high banker. But for now this honestly does the job. The, uh, that green mat. circulating my bump is down in there I got some dirt here <laughs> yes sir and you just fade it I 
have it at uh, nine degrees, nine and a half going down. an extension cord and let it go I could use a uh, probably a stronger pump this one's an 800 I more than likely I'm gonna get an 1100 uh, yeah so pump, uh, pump out more water volume As y'all know, I feed it. Keep the dirt that I got out of it. Little hole over there. <clears throat> and uh, the water runs like a stream. I bring that here. Catches the gold, the fine gold. Runs down into this miner's moss. Catches more gold and then maybe nuggets. If if I get any down, down in this green sluice. For those that uh, that are new and don't don't really know, because I know a lot of my family have been asking, like, what do you do out there? You know. So most of us in our community, we know that I'm just trying to give them a basic, and then for the newcomers, you know. Simple. You can do it yourself, or you can spend a good chunk of change on one that's a high banker, gold hog, or uh, geo screws. Now. This does work. I have run my tailings before and hardly got any any gold out of my tailings because it, it all gets captured in these riffles here. all caught on the gold gets caught up in these ripples here in the miner's moss and then in this green sluice down here uh, I stop the pump stop the water and then pull the mats out and pat them into a uh, so then 
I'll flip the mounts up. Well, I'll show you. Let me run this and then uh, I'll do a cleanup. And we'll see if uh, we get any gold. So I'm through running that orange uh, Home Depot bucket and it took a little while, not very very long but it took some time. I just stopped it, almost stopped the generator. Ooh. And yeah you're going to get wet, yeah you're going to get dirty. <laughs> like, uh, Jeff Williams always says. Alright, so simple. Uh, let's see. Get some clean water here. Clean water. Put it in the pan. You don't have to fill it up. And, uh, Get this mat out, the dream mat, mini. Turn it over. Remember, if there's gold in here, it's heavy. It's not gonna bounce out, it's not gonna splash out. It will just drop. So patting it like this doesn't, doesn't, you know. Oh, the gold's gonna splash out. No, it doesn't, it won't, gold's heavy. So that guy's done. I'm gonna get out this first piece that I have in there. Whoa. Okay, I forgot. I kind of just uh, for support uh, drill it in there. There's other ways to put it in, but I just I look for simple simple ways. So this one too. That. Hmm. We're going to find out here. Nice and clean. That was the first part. That come, I put this here. And I put the dream mat this over. So it, the stream of water goes evenly. Alright. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Next, I hope the video is set up properly. Let me check one more time. I guess that's decent. Y'all bear with me. I'm this is I'm trying to get better at uh, at my videos. Okay. So, I want to get the miner's moss here. Again, simple. I use easy, cheap stuff. There. Wow. This sucker's heavy. Okay. All right. Rip it over. Miner's moss. If there's any gold, it will trap the gold and it will trap black sands, the heavy, the heavies. Magnetics too. Yeah, well the black sand. So black sand magnetics. Alright. And uh jet dry does help to break the uh surface tension because uh the real flaky and light gold will sometimes float all right come on come on come on all right the fun part
Sorry, guys. I know, but working with the jacked up hand here, guys.
sands. And there is gold, but very, very, very fine. All right, so it's simple. This water gets dirty really quick because uh, it's that red, red, red New Mexico. Arizona type Let's see here. Yeah. Few specs. Just the first run so anyway that's it that's the basics uh, tomorrow I'll uh, do a better show a better uh, give you all a better idea when it's uh, sun's up on top about noon one o'clock it's already four so uh, yeah we'll do this again I just wanted to give you all a basic uh, basic rundown Truck, those buckets, bottles for another couple of runs, and there's a uh, easy boy. He was asleep. Joey, come here, boy. Come here, boy. You're not a hard-working miner. <laughs> You're just a baby. Be still. You got to learn, boy. All right, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow.